Hi, and welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a copycat of Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bars, which are delicious treats that are perfect for the holidays. They're soft and chewy brownies topped with cream cheese frosting, dried cranberries, and a white chocolate drizzle. They have a hint of orange and ginger flavor that makes them irresistible. Cranberry Bliss Bars are available only during the holiday season at Starbucks, so they're a special treat for many people. The taste is a combination of sweet, tart, and creamy flavors with a hint of spice from that ginger and orange. They're delicious with a cup of coffee or tea or as a dessert or snack. They're also great for sharing and gifting to your loved ones or just treating yourself. They're so good you want to make them every year. Ready to try these yummy festive treats? Well, grab your apron and let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 and then prepare a pan, 8 by 8 or equivalent pan with parchment paper and just set it aside until we're ready for it. Then we need melted butter and to the melted butter we're going to add some brown sugar, some granulated sugar, two large eggs, and our vanilla. And then take your mixer and mix it until well blended. Now to this mixture, we're going to add flour, just regular all-purpose flour, salt, baking powder, cinnamon, and ginger. Now we're going to mix it again just until it's combined. You want to go just until it's combined because just like muffins, if you go too far, it's going to make it tough. Now we need three quarters of a cup of our white chocolate chips. I have larger chips, so I chopped them so that they're a little bit smaller. And dried sweetened cranberries. Now I'm just going to mix this by hand. And we're going to pour it in our prepared dish. Now we're going to put it in the oven for 20 to 22 minutes, just until the center is set. OK, now that they have cooled, we're going to take them out of the pan, set them aside. We're going to mix up the cream cheese icing. So I've already started mixing the cream cheese. I want it nice and smooth. Now we're just going to slowly add our powdered sugar, just a little at a time. You can ice it on a rack or on a plate. I'm just going to do it on the parchment that I took it out of. And while it's moist, I'm going to sprinkle on some dried sweetened cranberries. Then I have some white chocolate chips that I've melted in the microwave. And I'm going to take a fork and just drizzle the white chocolate over the top. All you need to do now is let it set for a minute until the icing sets, and then we're going to cut it in triangles, put it on a plate, and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. They'll make a great addition to your holiday spread or even a delicious gift. As always, the recipe is just below the like button as well as a link so that you can print it out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Cat Scratch Kitchen and come back every week for a new and delicious recipe. Until next week, have fun in the kitchen.